The major problem is so many people, you sow seeds and you don't think that you're going to reap that harvest. Like so many people call it karma, right? It comes back, right? What goes around comes around, right? If, if you don't believe, I don't, I don't understand why people don't believe that theory. What goes around comes around. The seed that you plant, there's going to be a harvest for that. So many of y'all are selling people false dreams that you know you have no intentions of fulfilling, and that's the crazy part, especially when it pertains to relationships. Stop leading her on. Stop leading him on. Making them think that it's something that's not going to materialize. What bothers me the most is people deal in relationship or trying to act like they're dealing in a relationship while they're entertaining other people. And they're selling you this false hope like, yeah, we're going to get married. Yeah, we're going to build a family. But all the time, that whole time, they got somebody else over here that they're entertaining. I, listen, I'm going to say this until I'm blue in the face. I believe that you can't entertain multiple people and take one person seriously. That's a fact. Man, you are really encouraging me, motivating me, inspiring me. But God is really using you to help me out. Hello, family. I want to welcome you to AOS the podcast. I'm your host, Mr. AOS Inspires. This is what I need you to do. We're on every single platform, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I need you to go and subscribe and follow us right now. We drop content every single day day that help you with your life because our mission here at AOS the podcast is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time one interview at a time one video at a time to help you live life at the next level I want you to live life on the next level I want to say thank you to each and every one of you that's watching this episode this is going to be a dynamic episode I need you to dive in do me a big favor I need you to like share and comment. Don't be a stranger. I like comment with us. And this is what I need you also to do. I need you to copy this link right here on this podcast, this episode, and share it with at least 10 of your friends. I promise you it's going to help them out. Let's jump into the episode. What's going on, Let family? Go. You guys are so amazing. It's your boy, Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS the podcast. I'm talking about something on today that's going to step on some people's feet, but Jimmy Crack Coin and I don't care because I want to let these people know, stop playing with people's emotion. But before we start there, I believe that this is going to be a lit episode. This is what I need you to do. I need you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the follow button as well if you're on Instagram. Uh, matter of fact, do me a favor. You watch this on YouTube now. So go or you listen to it on your streaming platforms on, you know, podcast. That's what I need you to do. I need you to go to Instagram, follow us, AOS the podcast. Go to YouTube, AOS the podcast, subscribe, and go to Facebook and follow us also TikTok, AOS the podcast. Just Google that and follow on every single platform that you can hear, whatever. I, I need y'all to rock with us because when you follow and you like and you share and you comment and you're engaged, uh, it helps us with our mission That's to empower the world To never give up One conversation at a time One video at a time One interview at a time To help you get to the next level And with your connection Together we can fulfill that Together Low Let's go to get started I'm crazy excited About this episode Why? Because so many people I met people along this journey Right? They found out I talk about You know Relationships I talk all thing, all things relationships, and the first thing that they ask me is, "What do I do?" Not first thing, but a lot of people ask this: "What do I do when I feel like I'm being sold a dream that's not going to get cashed in? That's heavy, right?" Because I deal with this on both both sides. There there are men. Let's start with the men first, fellas. You guys sell a dream to a woman, making her think, "Yeah, we're gonna get married. Yeah, we're gonna have some children. Yeah, we're gonna get a house. We're gonna rent a house. We're gonna buy a house. Whatever." Did you the situation is and you're building false hopes why because you're waiting for something to change about her and this is what i love to tell couples if you've been together for a while and you notice different flaws let's cut the mustard look at the flaws that she has i'm dealing with fellas right now ladies i'm gonna get to you so don't get to uh yeah he right don't know he get no listen i'm gonna get to you in a minute but if you see some flaws about her that you don't like ask yourself this one question can i live with this and i'm, I'm gonna tell you this 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 is what i start off every single counseling session that i do can i live with this flaw if it never changes can I still love this person with the intensity that I have when I first met them if this issue that they have or this dislike of theirs, of mine, of them that I don't like of them, if it never changes, will I be okay? 
And if you answer that question and say, nope, can't do it. Nope, nope, won't happen. Leave the person alone. Stop selling them these false narratives because you think, listen, if I spend time and I do this and I do that, they are changed. No, a person is who they are. Whatever issues, whatever conditions, whatever problems that they have in their life, they are who they are. Yes, they can have a change of heart. Yes, they can change certain things about them. Absolutely. But the person to their core, that's who it is that they are. Can you live, brother, can you live with the fact that she may never change? Can't, I mean, like, like, let's really be honest. Can you deal with the fact that this woman may be the same for the next 30 years? Can I stick in and wait? And I think that too many of y'all are not answering that question in the beginning. So when you don't answer that question in the beginning and you thinking that in my mind, she going to change year three. Matter of fact, she going to change when I give it this good D or she going to change when we have a baby or she going to change. No, 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 no. What happens is people who they are, the core root of who they are. It only exposes more of that or intensifies when situations change in their life. If a person is not financially literate and there are horrible stewards of finances, it's going to show for real, for real when y'all start struggling. Let's really be honest. Call a spade a spade, right? So, bro, you think that she's going to be better with money when y'all get married? No, no. If she's piss poor with money while she's single, she's going to be piss poor with money when y'all get married. Why? Because now I got somebody else there that I know he going to pay the bills. He's going to pay this mortgage. He's going to pay that rent, right? So now I can be even more careless, right, with my money because I right, got it. He's going to take care of it. When I slack, he, nah, can you live with it? I'm talking to you, my guy. Can you live with the fact that if she never changes this problem? I, matter of fact, this is what I need you to do. All those guys, if you think that you're selling a woman a false hope, if you're telling her, listen, we're going to get married, we're going to do this, you know, we, we, we got some plans. Like, I got some plans for you, girl. Like, uh, for real, we're going we're gonna to do this, me and you. Think about, ask yourself this. Well, first, write this down. Write down five things, the top five things. I know there's a list of things, right? I know that for some, it could be a page. It could be five. It could be one. It could be two, whatever it is. But I need you to find five things that you dislike about the woman that you're in relationship with. Think of five, th five things that you don't What's like. going on, family? I know that you're enjoying the episode, but I had to pause to ask you a quick question. Have you ever been through anything in life that was so life-altering that it changed your life forever? I mean, have you ever been and had a job and you lost that job? I mean, your dream job. You lost that job for whatever reason. Maybe you're an entrepreneur. You started a business and the business started off great and then it seemed as if it was going downhill. And now you're at a place, you lost your marriage, you lost your children, you lost some major things things in your life. And now you're at a place in life where you're like, hey, this is the end of the road. I, I'm like, I don't see it getting better. I got news for you. It will get better. And I wrote a book just for you. It's entitled Winning After a Major Loss. You need to go and get your copy. Go to barnesandnoble.com. Go to amazon.com. Get your copy right now. Winning After after a major loss. I promise you, it's going to change the trajectory of your life. It's going to change your mindset. Most importantly, it's going to change your heart about your situation because I promise you, you can win after a major loss. Go get your copy now. Barnes and Nobles, amazon.com. Order your copy now. Let's get back to the episode. And then once you write down those five things, look at it and study it and analyze it and think about it and just look at it. Like I said in the beginning, the question I asked in the beginning, ask yourself this, can I st or will I remain with her if these five items never change? If these five items never get better, if it never changes, can I stay? And understand in the back of your mind that it could get worse. So if your answer is no, I won't be able to do it. Leave. It may be, it's going to be hard. But I would rather for you to hurt her now than to keep on dragging her along, making her think something's going to materialize from this relationship. And it's not. You're like, listen, I'm waiting for this to change. And it might not change. That's why I tell people all the time, stop being in a relationship and saying, listen, I'm going to get married once this change. It may not never change. 
That's real. Like, 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 that's real. That's real. Some people are, there's some ways, let's really be honest. There's some ways I'm going to be transparent. There's some ways about me that I'm not changing. There's some things like, for example, so many people are like, you should get a nine. Nope. I'm not. Nope. I'm going to figure this entrepreneur thing out. You should get a nine to five. Nope. I'm cool. And it's not like I don't want to work for the man. No, it's not that. It's just that I love the flexibility of being an entrepreneur. I'm a creative. I love the uncapped. There has been times where as an entrepreneur, you can make a hundred grand in a month. I'm not there yet. I'm going to get there guaranteed. But as a, as a nine to five, there are not that many jobs where you can make a hundred grand in one month. Let's really be honest. Right. As an entrepreneur, you can write your own check. As a nine to five, no, somebody else writes your check and they sign your check. Just something to think about. But, you know, let, fellas, if, if you feel like, yo, I cannot deal with this, I won't deal with it. Stop dealing with it. Ladies, I'm going to get Ness, your turn. So many of you ladies, you sell these men this false hope, this false narrative. And the whole time you're dealing with another guy. Because it's easy to sell this guy a false narrative and keep it up when I have somebody else fulfilling other desires of mine. It's not just sexually, but financially, mentally, emotionally, just like men have women for different reasons or different purposes. Women do the exact same thing, fellas. They have men that fulfill. He's the handyman. He's the finance guy. He's the vacation guy. He's the fun guy. He's the guy that I can cry on by the emotions. This is the guy I can go shopping with and he going to pick up the tab. Right? Fellas, the women do the same thing in a different manner. But I'm going to tell you this. I just don't believe, and I will stand on this 10 toes down. I don't believe that you should date a person and entertain other people at the same time. I don't believe in that. Because your 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 judgment is going to get cloudy, ladies. Stop, lead. Stop, stop making this big extravagant dream. Matter of fact, let's go lower. Stop making a man think that. Uh, listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm listen. I'm gonna be cooking. I'm gonna be cleaning, and you know, goodness, what you only do that at show house. Stop selling this man a dream, making him think that you're going to be the perfect so-called housewife. I'm going to cook, clean, and then when we have kids, I'm going to take care of the kids. I'm going to be a stay-at-home mom. I'm going to be a go-getter. I'm going to have an entrepreneur. No. Like, listen, bro, I'm messed up financially. I'm not good. I'm not a good steward financially, but I'm trying to get some stuff together. I'm trying to learn how to budget. As I said in my other episode on Monday, be who it is that you are. Be you. And this is this is a big one, right? When you begin to sell a person a dream and they begin to fall in love, not with you, but with the vision that you listen, fellas, you place vision in front of women. Ladies, you place vision. Even though the man is the leader, you still place vision in front of them. Because they see a picture that you have painted that you have no intentions on living up to. And that's piss poor. That's, that's a piss poor mentality. You're trying to build this picture because watch this. I, I, I can speak for the fellas and I can really speak for the ladies too. A lot of y'all do it because they're comfortable, because they're safe, right? You feel like, bro, like, like she, 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 I, and you feel like you can't get another woman on that level or better. So you just deal with her because this is the type of woman that I really want in my life. Right. But there's still some issues about her that I really don't like. That's 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 trash, bro. That's I mean, like, really be honest with this woman. I'm gonna be honest. This is where I'm at this. And, and, and don't try to use reverse psychology on her to say, listen, I need you to change this. This is the only reason that I'm stopping from marrying you. Or this is the only reason I'm stopping from taking this relationship to the next level, because that's reverse psychology, because she's going to try to fix it. That's natural. Ladies, he's going to try to fix it. Right. But it won't be our genuine, organic, authentic fix. It'll be a fix because I'm trying to get this accomplished. I'm trying to get you here. Manipulation never works in a relationship. Only authenticity, only authenticity. So, fellas, as I come to a close on this episode, ladies, as I come to a close, stop selling false dreams. Stop selling false hopes. Tell them the I don't care if they get pissed, get mad, and I don't care. Tell them the real. Like, listen, I'm gonna be honest with you. I like you. 
I really want to marry you, but this is hindering me from moving forward. I would rather be kissed with the truth than to be, I messed that up. <laughs> I'd rather be slapped with the truth than kissed with a lie. That's a fact. Because you're stringing me along, making me think that this is about to materialize. And we listen, I'm trying to leave y'all, but many of y'all get into relationships and they can string you along for five years and you still go with it. Because you keep on reminiscing about the good times. Or they keep on bringing up good times with you and making them and making memories and experiences that you've never had in another relationship. And it's crazy because the person that's getting sold the false dream, you feel like Family, you guys are so amazing. It's your boy, Mr. AOS Inspires and AOS the podcast. I had to pause real fast to let you know that this episode is sponsored by Urban Pulse Podcast. They post everything black. I mean, everything, everything black, right? They post the drama. They post inspiration. They post motivation. Everything black that you can get your talk about, talk on, if you will. Urban Pulse Podcast, they post about it. We're sponsored by Urban Pulse Podcast, the true essence of everything black. I love them guys. To like well, you can't do better. Baby girl, you can do better. Fellas, my boy, you can do better. I promise you. There's another man. There's another woman looking for you. I stand on that thing 10 toes down. Sis, there's another. I'm t I promise you. This guy that's selling you false hope, leave him alone. I dare you to get enough energy and enough courage to say, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm putting my foot down. This is my date. Past this date, if you haven't committed, I'm gone. And listen, you got to stand on it. So many of y'all, y'all say stuff like this, like I'm done, I'm finished, and you never stand on business. This is why they keep running on top of you. This is the reason why they keep playing you. This is the reason why they keep stringing you along. You don't stand on business. Because you say one thing with your mouth, but your actions show something totally different. Listen, sis, you got to tell them how you really feel and you got to stand on. Listen, bruh, by this date, my girl, if you don't do this by this date, if we're not here about I'm done. I'm out of here because the insurance companies do that. Why, why is it that every company have dates that you have to fulfill? Cable company, by this date, if you don't pay it, we'll give you a week and it's getting cut off. Car note, we give you three months. And you really going to be on your feet. It's crazy. It's only in relationships when you get comfortable with a person that you don't stand on business and have, listen, by this date, like I'm, I, I'm done. You're not going to make, listen, I'm done with this. I'm, I'm going to tell you this and I'm done. You allowing a person to screen you along for years, making you think that they're going to marry you, making you think that they're going to build a relationship with you, build a life with you. All you're doing is losing the best years of your life that's all you're doing because many of you start at the age of 28 you try to get serious right most men drag their feet most men that haven't had this and i'm i'm gonna go on the limb and say this most men that haven't had that picture of healthy relationships talking about marriage they drag their feet there's some type of insecurity about commitment there's some type of insecurity or there's something about that when they look at a marriage they like hold on that's a huge commitment but you commit to everything else Fellas, and it's not just about marriage. It's just about a false dream that you're selling this person. Like, yeah, we're going to do this. We we haven't even moved in together. Now, I mean, it, you make your own decision how you want to move. Whether you want to get married first, then move in, or you, whatever. Or whether you want to move in first, then get I don't know. That's your choice. I'm not going to push my opinions or my beliefs on you, but you make that choice. But when, one thing I do want to say is, if we don't have progression by this date, I'm gone. Yeah, we can have a last date. Yeah, it's cool. It's all cool in the game. We can do that. But I'm telling you, after that night, don't call me back no more because my number won't work for you. And you have to stand on business. Even if you love this person, this person will string you along and what will happen. I've seen it. They will screen you along, and then once a person comes along that they really think that they want, I'll holler at you later. I'm, I, I just got to go. Don't be that person. Bro and sis, don't be that person. I'm gone.
What's going on, family? I want to say thank you for rocking with us during this episode. We have been so excited to drop this episode. I'm glad that you made it to the end. This is what I want you to do. If you have any takeaways from this episode, leave it in the comments. We want to hear your thoughts. We want to hear how you feel. I want to bring content to you that's relevant to you, that'll help you change your life because you already know our mission here at AOS Inspires, AOS the podcast, is to empower the world to never give up one conversation at a time, one interview at a time, one video at a time to help you live life at the next level. This is what I need you to do. I need you to like, subscribe, share, share this episode. If it spoke to your life, share this episode with somebody. Why? Because you are connected to some people that we're not connected with. And with that connection together, we can empower the world to never give up. I'm Mr. AOS Inspires. This is AOS the podcast. I can't wait to see you next week. Just in case you didn't know, we drop every single week, three times a week, Mondays, 8 a.m., Wednesdays, 8 a.m., and Fridays, 8 a.m. You need to catch an episode. Matter of fact, catch all three episodes. It's going to be fire. I promise you it's going to help you doing your everyday life. It's going to help you get to the next level. Let's go.